Welcome to part 9 of my Meta Roulette journey. We're getting pretty far now, even if we have so much left to go. I hope you've been enjoying these intros too. For a while, it's been just talking about my thoughts on the system and kind of pushing back against the negative. But next time, I want to talk about one of my stories just to illustrate some of what I've been talking about and lead into other topics. For this week, though, I want to finish what I started with Episode 7 and talking about Menta requirements. The Disciple of Hand requirements definitely are, uh, not a thing. It's basically free mentorship. The crafting collectibles, you'll get that just from using the Ishgardian Firmament to level. Even without the Firmament, it's a tiny amount. Gathering takes quite a bit more time to do, but not too much more. Level cap gets harder the further away we get from Shadowbringers, but you can just buy Grand Company turn-ins from the market. Or craft the current expansion items from buying off the market. While a Battle Mentor can only also be a novice if they buy skips off the store, it's extremely easy to both be a novice and a trade mentor. To properly understand this, let me tell you the novice requirements. To lose your novice status, you must have over 300 hours of playtime and complete Shadowbringers. The moment Endwalker becomes available, you're out. And come Dawn Trail, the expansion requirements move up. If you've never met new best scion Wuklamat, then you're still a novice. So it's very easy to just not finish Shadowbringers and throw yourself at crafting and gathering turn-ins. While I'm never going to be the jerk who goes LOL hammer crown, the requirements are just a bit low. Without just pumping numbers up like commendations, what do you do? At least higher numbers of collectibles means more time spent on the systems. You can't really say, make the crafters do expert recipes. Most crafting is not that. And that's similar to making battle mentors need savage. Though like, less awful? There's not really anything else you could ask for with these systems. They're basic. You can't just get rid of it either, because whether you like it or not, there are people who do know this stuff within a trade mentor role. It's not uncommon for people in Novice Network to say they don't want to leave, and Trade Mentor is their way back in. We, at least in Midgardzimmer, discourage this attitude, but it's still something that happens often. That isn't to say that some of them can't come back and be a genuinely helpful mentor in their own right. Often, though, their intentions are just for the chatting, when finding a proper FC is the better call there. And for what it's worth, no, Chatting in itself is not a problem. So maybe there should be a lock of doing whatever the new delivery quests there are? Complete at least one of them. Then you are forced to be current expansion, like battle content. I'm not here to gatekeep actual people who want to mentor. And that seems to be a decent compromise. It's still extremely easy to hit, but prevents the novice mentors from still being a thing. So yeah, what more can we do? I'm not about to trash the system like some people leap to, but a baby step like this should at least encourage a little self-reflection. Or so I hope. I'm genuinely unsure of any other options without going super overkill. In the meantime, enjoy the new episode. Here's today's list of duties. Like, comment, subscribe, yada yada. Would be cool to see you at my streams though. Hope I've at least gotten you all to think in the meantime. Alright, so episode 9 begins, and I, I still want to do I still want to do Sage. We're still on Tank and Need, it's like always Tank and Need, but I want to do a couple Sage runs. And regret what I get, I'm sure. What is it? Okay, I do have In Progress on. Just feels weird. Oh, here! Oh no! Oh no! This is the second duty, but this is probably going to be the first one of the video because the first duty was an Endwalker dungeon. So that's probably going to be at the end of the video. But, uh... But, uh... For an otherwise first dungeon, this is going to be interesting. Alright, I hope I don't get the donut so I can go stand on the donut. Of course, I get a crit, and then he goes AFK. Wait, they walk around? Since when do they walk around? I 
I've confused the tank by doing the elevator falls. Wow, that was close. Oh, you know, that would actually help. And they're dead. Oh, snow cloak. Ultra babbies. Oh no. Why are you still not using mitigation? For a level 90 tank, because this tank is level 90. They're still not using, like, any mitigation. They're not even using Sheltron. Like, Sheltron's not the best thing ever, but it's still better than nothing. Did this guy level skip? This Black Mage also doesn't know their stuff. That's still using flare. This is a very silent run. Hey, they actually use Sentinel. Oh my god, they're also using a level 37 weapon. Black mages. Black mage didn't have anything to say. All the dragoon said was, thank you all. I got two of the comms, but... You weren't listening to me, so why did I get the calm if you weren't- I honestly don't know what I'm in the mood to do, so I'm just gonna do some summoner. Oh boy, a trial? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Extreme, okay. Half of us are mentals. Mentors. Oh, poor black mage. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nope, this is already going really bad. I think I need to go after blue then. Yes. Well, that went poorly. And there they all go. <laughs> and they're gone. Okay, luckily that one's super easy now. All right, how many comms am I gonna get? Cause I'm the only one who seemed to know what to do. I made this point last time that no matter, it doesn't matter that I guided people. It doesn't matter that I'm the only one who was not dying, that I was probably top dps maybe under the black mage just because like black mage can get really screwed over with randomness in this fight do did i earn anything for guiding the group i got two commendations two i would like to remind you that commendations are a terrible option a terrible way to determine who should be a mentor or not Bears all his wall again? Really? Oh, we're getting sloppy. Oh! Oh no, we're gonna wipe. We're gonna wipe at least once. Because of the final boss of this. If we do not wipe at least once, I will be surprised. I don't think they're using holy. Okay, they're at least listening. 
They're at least listening to like, hey, holy is good. Please use holy. Please, please use holy. Why did they go after me? What the crap? Wait, you're going too far. You're going too far. You're going, you're going, you're going too far. Why did they go after me? Stop it. I'm not even behind, I'm behind the tank. I do not remember what percent we need to be at to stop DPSing. Right, I'm stopping DPS. I'm just stopping. I don't remember what percent she needs to be at. That percent. Okay. I don't know if that worked, but I was trying something. I'm surprised we did not wipe there. Ah, uh, one more run. Oh, this is gonna be boring. Oh my god, they just cure one to me! They're still using cure one. Oh my god, why why are they why are they using cure one? Like, they spoke in chat! They're right there! They're literally right there! They spoke! They can read chat! I still could be playing Unicorn Overlord instead. They, they spoke! They spoke! Again! Are you- are you- are you really? Are you really? Are you really? Guess who needed a few more runs, so guess what we're gonna do just to make sure things go quick. Oh, burn! Well, the healer is new, so... I don't like how they're instantly casting Medica 2, but we'll see what happens. Well, let's see if I can't teach this guy. This is how you use a Doton as a tank. Mm, this guy's not listening. <sighs> Why are you using Medica 2 when everyone's at full HP? Why is it always white mages? The ninja did not do their mudra, so that says a lot. You're a big fan, and you're also in my video. Not the healer. Someone else. One of the DPS. Not a single word. Like, I'm trying to help. Like, you will do so much better. You'll have so much more fun when you're not just spamming random skills. Wow. This skill test. This is the only eight player. The only eight player of these. And it's just a mess. What even is that one called? Solemn Trinity. I thought the other one was Solemn Trinity. Oh. Uh oh. Didn't have his stance on half the time. And one of the DPS has recognized me. I would say the bard, but they're both the bard. That was more- that was Makote 5. She has Makote 5. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> that was hilarious! <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. You tried to get the limit break. 
So I at least appreciate that much. One more. I'm a glutton. So much for glutton. I don't think I'm in the mood for this, but I need to do some runs. Let's just make it good and simple on Dragoon. It's an extreme, isn't it? I also just realized I don't have sound on. This is not... I did tell them, hey, don't face the boss towards the party, but let's see if they listen. This is gonna be close. This is going to be close. Look at all the bodies. That happened. Oh. Oh no, the scholar. The scholar doesn't know how to scholar. Oh, why are they using Physic? Yeah, look at their mana. Their mana is so low. So they were doing a number of things wrong for this to be happening. One, overhealing across the board. Spamming Physic when the tank wasn't even hurt. Spamming Sucker when barely anyone had any damage taken, etc. Two, not using Art of War. They were occasionally throwing out Ruins which means they could have used Art of War instead, which would do way more damage because AoE is higher damage in AoE situations. Three, using Physic at all, really. You really should be relying on Adlo more than Physic. Despite the mana cost, as long as you're not spamming it, only healing when you actually need to heal, and making sure to use your Aether Flow, you really have no need to use Physic at level 50. The worst part is, in trash mobs, they used Sucker more than they used Adlo. What, what does that even mean? What? Well, given they're not changing anything they do... Oh, that group happened. Oh, basic training. Well, the Conjurer wasn't spamming heals, so I'm gonna calm them. Uh, basic parties again? I've gotten this one twice. What? Can we make it four basic enemy parties? Oh no, did I just queue into an extreme? No, just the normal version. Saw that coming. <laughs> I don't feel bad though. Oh no, I've been recognized. You know, I never realized these were her parents. Like, I've done this ad phase a billion times and never realized those two were the parents. No, I'm not joking. I got it. <laughs> I'm the first one to attack Xenos. Yeah, I'll call it there for now. I'm... I'm... I'm not... <sighs> I'm a hungry butt. It's only 11.30. Oh! Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I like how they did just pulled without even a second thought. What? <sighs> one pull, one clear. It better not be Great Hunt Extreme again. I was just here! Oh, what? That was in range? Today is the day of repeats, apparently. Here again, really? Well, the heal is actually using holy, so... Hey, Tank, who just watched my episode 8? You're in- you're in it now because... them. No, Medica 2! They're not using AoE.
Wait, where's my carbuncle? Where'd my carbuncle go? I want. I wonder if the tank is thinking that they're in an episode now, and that like, oh, I need to be on my best behavior now. I don't want to be one of them bad tanks. I don't want to be made fun of in the video for being a bad tank. How did that work? Oh my god. One calm, probably from the tank. Oh god. First run and I have to try. Oh my god, they used blood wedding so early. I had to use all of my resources just to save them. This machinist was doing single target. Now I verbalized this in the live commentary as well, but I noticed something weird. The monk is not using their brotherhood buff in trash pools, only in bosses. Now there is a rule. Trash is more dangerous than bosses. You should be using all of your buffs, a full opener in trash, just because they are way stronger and way scarier than any boss ever will be in a dungeon. Oh, okay. I noticed that it felt like the monk wasn't using stuff in trash mobs. I hope they were. Because I just tried to give them advice and they ducked out as I finished typing. I think I sent the message in time, but... You know? Oh, no. Oh. I can't even watch the fight from here. Like, I can look at all the pretty... the pretty graphics. But I can't even watch the fight. Pet the doggo. Pet the doggo. This episode's duties were all over the place, but I'm glad to have gotten as many extreme clears as I did. It really helps my mind heal from the constant, endless failures that I could do nothing to prevent. If the turtle guild test failing is the worst that happens in this series, I am super behind that. Let's tell a story about that next time. But until then, that's it for this episode. And I made the decision to reinstate my Patreon. It's pay what you want, one dollar minimum. If you feel I deserve a tip or such, it's there. Double check your account if you're a previous patron, especially if you cannot afford to do so at the moment. Take care. And may the power of Anne and Hogsley waste to your enemies.